sais pas si je suis en train de faire des choses. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire des choses. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de faire des well, Ada, this is Shakespeare and Co. And today, Vote from Abroad is wrapping up a series of registration tables as part of a registration drive. Well, with a view to the midterms. Well, first of all, are you satisfied? Well, yes. In fact, we're so satisfied that we actually added a couple more dates. So we're going to be here on uh, next Thursday, uh, the 18th, as well as next Saturday, the 20th. Oh, so we will still be here uh, on next Thursday from 5 to 8, and next Saturday from 12 to 6, um, as, as true, like, last minute, last chance voter oh. registration, voter ballot request, and voter help. Well, so today is not the last chance after all. No, today's not the last chance. <laughs> Uh, for many states, the yeah. some, some, for many states, the voter registration deadlines have passed. But um, you know, for many more states, the ballot request deadlines are still much later. So if you've previously registered, you can still request a ballot. A lot of Americans don't know that. Um, and also, there's no harm in sending in a form anyway. Uh, number one, you might get a ballot. Number two, it makes you register for the next election. So that's a very important thing because whatever happens this election, this November, we can be sure the next election, which will be the presidential election in 2020, will be a big one. Well, that's, that's right. And then, well, vote for abroad. Well, the name says it all because, well, most, well, many Americans don't really know what the right to vote is all about. Well, it was a hard conquest through U.S. history from the early days, the adoption of the Constitution and the Civil War. And then, one century later, several initiatives had to be taken, the Civil Rights Act, the Voting Rights Act, sure. and so on. And it's important for people to get involved because voters are at the core of democracy. When people don't vote, democracy doesn't function. In some states, well, some leaders would say, I don't want anyone to vote, I want to be there forever, <laughs> you know? Or some people would say, I want people to vote only for one party. Well, do you think as an American, that everybody in the U.S., even those people who don't vote, everybody is fully aware of those many, many battles that had to be fought and won for the right to vote. And, well, in a way, isn't the right to vote, well, an everlasting battle to be always fought and won? Well, I think, you know, democracy works when democracy works. So uh, if everyone voted and everyone exercised their right to vote with the same kind of, uh, uh, assigned the same importance to it that the people who fought for that right gave to it, I, I think we would have a much better result. Um, I think also that those who show up are the ones who decide. So that's important. That's an important message to everyone who thinks they're too busy to vote, they think they're too cynical to vote, they think, what, what difference does it make? My vote won't change anything. The ones who show up and vote, they're the ones who decide. So when you don't vote, you're letting someone else decide for you. And I think we can see this is what you get. So the message, the bottom line is, Get registered and vote, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. If we, we didn't believe that, we wouldn't be here. So, yes. So, we're here to help everyone um, on a nonpartisan basis, no matter, you know, as long as you are uh, an American um, who's eligible to vote uh, back in your state, we can help you make sure that you get a ballot this midterms election. It is, um, you know, the deadlines are closing very fast. For some people, it may already be too late to vote in this midterms, but for many people, you can still do it. Please just go to votefromabroad.org. Uh, you can also try and come see us on Thursday from 5 to 8 in front of Shakespeare and Company or Saturday, uh, next Saturday, uh, the 20th from uh, 12 to 6. Well, that's great. Thank you, Ada. Good luck. Thank you, Bernard.